Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the seventh video as part of our series of video of the playlist of power of data analysis. In this video, we will see two more very simple but very useful exceptional report related to chart of accounts. So let us go to tally and explore these two simple and useful exception report related to chart of accounts. In the previous video, we explored the exceptional report of only balance last year and used in the current year, which we learned how we can identify any malpractice being conducted with finance. In this video, we shall explore two more exceptional reports. One is regrouped and the other one is revenue ledgers having opening balance. First, let us understand the report of regroup. This report will basically identify the ledgers grouping being changed in the current year as compared to the original grouping in the previous year. Notice this report has one ledger being regrouped. Let us drill down and examine the same. Notice Sujana Enterprises ledger was grouped under sundry debtors in the previous year. This is the previous year company and in the current year if you notice this ledger has been regrouped to sundry creditors. This is the current year company. In fact last year if you notice the party ledger balance had a credit balance but they have been grouped under sundry debtors which should have actually been regrouped to sundry creditors in the previous year but this year it has been properly regrouped under sundry creditors since they have a closing balance of credit balance if there are more ledgers which have been regrouped with the help of f12 configure you can actually select the type of ledgers to be listed when by default all items are selected where you will get the list of all the ledgers of revenue nature and non-revenue nature being listed now if you want to segregate or filter the ledgers only of non-revenue or revenue you can do so the next exceptional report is interesting which is revenue ledgers having opening balance we all are aware that only the non-revenue ledgers balances are cash carried forward to the subsequent financial years which are of balance sheet items. This report will check for any ledger which was grouped in the previous year as non-revenue ledgers but in the current year the same has been regrouped under revenue item. The revenue ledgers are under the group of purchase or sale or expenses or income. In this report, we observe that there is one revenue ledger having opening balance. Let us drill down and explore. Notice the ledger prepaid insurance, which was part of current asset in the previous year. Hence, the closing balance is carried forward to the current year. That is why this exception. How is this possible? Let me give you a use case. The ledger which is listed here is related to insurance. The company had paid in the previous year towards the insurance in the mid of the year and debited the entire amount to expenses. During the previous year audit, the auditor had checked the insurance payment date and would have transferred the actual amount of insurance pertaining to the previous year through journal as expenses and the insurance amount which falls to the next financial year has been transferred to prepaid insurance forming part of current asset. Now, in the current year, the actual procedure should have been pass again a journal entry in the current year by crediting the prepaid insurance ledger and debiting the insurance expenses ledger. But what has happened in the company? The ledger of prepaid insurance, which was under the group of current asset in the previous year, has been regrouped to indirect expenses. That is why this exception. Two aspects would be impacted. If the data of previous year and current year are in the same company by regrouping in the current year, previous year's balance sheet has been impacted. And because it was part of balance sheet in the previous year, by regrouping this ledger to indirect expenses in the current year, hence the opening balance is being reflected here. This report identifies these rare exceptional events and lists out to rectify the same as part of audit activities.
I hope this too simple exceptional report is going to be very useful for the auditors, especially to check the ledgers which have been regrouped in the current year. And also the second exceptional report that we saw, which I had explained earlier, that quickly they can see what are the asset ledgers they have regrouped as a revenue ledger because the revenue ledgers cannot carry opening balance as we are aware of. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.